My name is Jen Calder and I'm a pharmacist with MedQuest Pharmacy and I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some terminology that we use when we talk about hormones in bioidentical replace, hormone replacement therapy. Great. Why don't you talk to us a little bit today about what's all the confusion about hormone therapy? There seems to be a lot of confusion today about the way, the words we use when we describe and we talk about hormone replacement therapy. There are some different words that seem to be used interchangeably, and they are not all equal when they describe how the hormone works and what it what it does. Uh, hormones uh, are synthetic uh, by definition because we do produce them. They start with a plant-based uh, backbone, and we then make the actual hormone from that plant-based backbone. And so all hormones are synthetic in that sense, but there are other words that we use also. We use the word uh, bioidentical to refer to hormone structures that are identical to what our bodies have produced. And those differ from um, other hormones uh, that are not bioidentical. And so we'll talk about specifically some differences between those today. So before we get into sort of, you know, what is a synthetic hormone versus bioidentical, what are hormones in general for our audience out there? Hormones are amazing things in our bodies. They are how our bodies accomplish all of the purposes and our functions, how we live and how our body processes work. They are signalers and they communicate and they interact with so many tissues, cells in our bodies, and they make certain things happen. And so when a hormone acts on a tissue, it causes a trickle down effect that then results in an end result that allows our metabolism to function. So what happens when our hormones decline? When our hormone levels decline, our bodies can go through changes in response to those reduced levels or lowered levels of hormones that are being, not being produced anymore by our bodies. And as a result of that, our skin can thin, our bones can thin, and we see a lot of other changes that result in different systems in our bodies as well. All right, thanks for that. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about the, the fundamental differences um, of synthetic versus bioidentical hormones? Very good. There are two main groups of hormones that are available on the market today. And there are those that are patented hormones and that are produced that we refer to as uh, synthetic hormones in the sense that um, they are not entirely structurally the same as what our bodies have produced. And so what they do is they do interact partially, but not always completely with the cells in our bodies. And so as a result, they don't produce a complete response. They don't produce always the desired response that we want. And a lot of times they will produce some side effects in response also. Uh, when we look at using bioidentical hormones, we use those, again, that are of a structure that is identical to what our bodies have produced. And so therefore, those hormones interact with the receptors very efficiently. And as a result of that, we see better things happen. We see the correct uh, processes continue to uh, occur so that our bodies stay healthy and stay strong. Thanks for that. Can you um, give us an example of a medication that is a synthetic hormone? Some th synthetic hormones that you might be familiar with on the market today are uh, would be an example would be Premarin as an estrogen, and it is in the drug class of estrogens. It is a combination of several different estrogens, uh, not. Uh, not one of which is uh, bioidentical. It comes from a different source, um, from an equine source, and so it doesn't do its job as efficiently in the body. Uh, there is also another uh, drug we refer to as a progestin, um, and those are not bioidentical as well. They function partially to do uh, the job, but they also create some side effects, and it is not the same as progesterone, which is what our bodies have produced. So I'm assuming by equine, you mean like a horse estrogen, and I'm not a horse. So talk to us a little bit about those fundamental differences. There are some very fundamental differences uh, between synthetic versus bioidentical. And we, t we look at, when we look at a hormone, we look at the structure of it. And it is uh, derived from cholesterol, so our bodies produce it, and it starts with that basic structure, and then our bodies take it and add different things to it and make it according to, into the hormones that we need. Um, when a synthetic hormone is produced, they 
start with either a plant-based source also, or an equine source, which is a horse-based source. And these hormones are not modified in such a way that they become uh, the most efficient hormone to be used in the body. Um, again, their structure is just enough different. If you think of a hormone being like a lock and a key mechanism, um, a bioidentical hormone will fit very efficiently into a lock and then allow that key will turn in the lock to produce the desired effects. When you use something that is synthetic, the structure is similar, but not exactly the same. And so it will fit almost into the lock, but it will not turn the key and it will not produce the same effects. Great. Um, so where do we find bioidentical hormones? Bioidentical hormones are derived from a plant-based source, either soy or yam. And again, we start with those because they have the basic building blocks of hormones. And so we start with those and then what we do is we again modify those and make those into the hormones that are bioidentical and exactly the same structure as what our bodies have produced. How would I find a doctor who uh, prescribes these bioidentical hormones? It can be a challenge to find a doctor who works with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. Uh, a good source for finding a, a reliable prescriber who is trained and certified and understands the nuances of prescribing bioidentical hormones can be found at worldlinkmedical.com under the Providers tab.